What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Spencer doing the deck profile for Guru Control, Subterra, whatever you want to call it. We'll go ahead and get right into it. Um, starting off with the bricks here, Dark Magician and Red Eyes Black Dragon, of course, for the you know the Red Eyes Fusion package. You just have to run these. It's kind of what makes it balanced, if you want to say. I don't know, uh, but yeah. And then for the Subterra package or the monster, you know, count I should say, Subterra Behemoth Ultra, Sub Subterra Behemoth Uma. I think this card is just it's so good, man. Um, and I think these work really well in tandem. I'd love to put a whole bunch of other ones on there. Uh, but as of right now, it's not easy to get a bunch of these out in the field at the same time. So, you know, if you have these two out on the board, like 90% of the time you're winning the game. <laughs> but I do like having them. Um, three uh, Subterra Guru. <laughs> no surprises there. Three, uh, three Subterra Fiendus. This card is, you know, it's an Omni Negate. It's also a way to get these on the board. It's a way to flip cards face down. This card is the MVP. Three Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, three Effect Veiler, and three Infinite Impermanence. These are obviously very generic, but I feel like that's okay because you can just kind of make them more specific, uh, you know, as you need, basically. So there's not a time where, you know, these aren't going to be pretty useful, like in any given match. Not extremely high impact, but it works for me. Uh, three Sub Terror Final Battle, uh, three Summon Limit. Uh, this card is, uh, to me, better than TC Boot, because there's ways, I feel like there's so many ways to play around TC Boot, there's almost no way to play around Summon Limit, and this deck never summons, like, two times, more than two times a turn. Uh, you know, three Red Eyes Fusion, like I talked about, the one Harpy's Feather Duster, it's nice because it's, like, pretty searchable, honestly, you know, with Pot of um, Prosperity, with the Pot of Extravagance, uh, and it's this is, like, really high impact, so I, I love this card. Three pot of extravagance, three pot of prosperity, like I just mentioned, um, and then the three, uh, the one terraforming, the one sub terra cave clash, just an easy searchable card, um, and it, it actually it makes your monsters gain a ton of attack. When you think about ultra, and you're flipping multiple cards for your opponents face down, like everything you own gains a thousand attack, assuming like none of your cards are flipped face down. So this is potentially getting up to like 5,000 attack points. And then once you inflict damage to your opponent, you get to add, you know, you basically get to add your Phoenixes back to hand. So you're getting a bunch of um, attack boost, plus you're getting your Omni Negates back like every single turn. Terraforming and then the three hidden city. The whole deck is based around this card. Onto the extra deck. Um, you know, three um, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, and then Elder Entity, um, Macaba, Wind Pegasus, adding Mister and Nova. This is just your Christmas package here. Might as well if you, you know, ninety percent of the time, like these cards are getting banished. But you never know, right? You never know. Uh, and it kind of goes along the same thought here, like um, you know, Boral Sword Dragon, Access Code Talker, Nightmare Unicorn, Subterra Behemoth Fiendus, Nightmare Phoenix, and then the Light Charmer. Uh, can help you link climb because you run effect veiler. The um, fire charmer can help you link climb because of ash, and then the earth because these are all earths. Again, like I said, you'll probably never use it. I never have, but it could come up. Onto the side deck: uh, three Navir, three Lancia, three Cosmic Cyclone, three evenly matched, and then the three Dimensional Barrier. Um, yeah, so that's it. A pretty simple deck profile. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Other than that, that's going to do it for today's video, and I'll see you guys next time.